Um, uh, good evening, I am Ms. Skyler and this is Miss Brittany. We are here to welcome you all to the opening night of The Little Red Hen and Honk Jr. Pause for applause. <laughs> Our students are so excited to share this story with you, so please feel free to applaud and cheer, maybe even cry, okay? And definitely laugh, okay? We think they are so funny, so take every opportunity to laugh at all these jokes. Um, the show is full of beautiful moments and sneaky little puns. Um, at the end of the performance, you will be able to meet your student in the lobby and collect their personal items from their group's bin, so you will not need to come backstage. Um, our performance is being recorded, so please silence your cell phones, refrain from any flash photography, and please take any fussy um, audience members uh, to the lobby. Um, but most importantly, enjoy the show. Thank you. Once upon a time, there was a hen who lived in a cozy little house with her baby chicks. She was always busy cleaning her house and feeding her hungry babies. Nobody helps the little red hen, not even the cows, the cats, or the pigs who lived outside her door. The cows ate clover all day. The cats were always sunning their bellies, and the pigs always spent time rolling in the mud. The little red hen was kind to her neighbors. She shared her food with them, but they never helped her. They just watched her work. Not far away lived the lean, mean, steel-eyed fox. The steel-eyed fox stole from her neighbors. She stole corn from the pigs. She stole a fish from the cats. She stole clover, which she didn't even like, from the cows. Most of all, she liked to steal the little red hen's freshly baked bread. 
The little red hen had not made fresh bread in quite a while, but one lucky day she found some grains of wheat. She said, If I plant these grains of wheat, I will have enough flour to make bread. She asked the cows, the cats, and the pigs to help her plant the grain. The cows said, Not I. Not right now, said Dot the cow. I can't help right now. The cats said, Not The pig said, Not I. Job's too big, said Bob the pig. Job is just too big. But that did not stop the little red hen. She held her head high, flapped her wings, and said, Then I'll do it by myself. she did. The hen scratched and scratched the soil. Her chicks helped. They planted the grain of wheat. All the while, the steel-eyed fox watched her from afar. and the pigs to help her cut the wheat. said not I not right now said not the cow I can't help right now the cat said said
little red hen. She held her head high, flapped her wings, and said, Then I will do it by myself. Did, the chicks helped. They cut the wheat, threshed it, and bundled it. It was a hard job. All the while, the steel-eyed fox watched from afar. to take the wheat to the mill. She asked the cows, the cats, and the pigs to help her to the mill. The pig said, followed. All the while, the steel-eyed fox watched her from afar. Day. She asked the cows, the cats, and the pigs to help her bake the bread.
The pig said. The cat said. her head high, flapped her wings, and said, And I will do it by myself. watched her from afar. Help me eat the bread. She asked the cows, the cats, and the pigs if they would help her eat the bread. The cows, cats, and pigs all looked at each other and said, We will help you eat the bread. The little red hen held her head high, flapped her wings, and said, Oh, no, you won't. You didn't help me bake the bread, and you won't help me eat it. The cows, the cats, and the pigs lowered their heads in disappointment. The hen and all her chicks sat at the table and ate the delicious bread. The steel-eyed fox saw the delicious bread. Her mouth watered. She said, I watched the hen plant, carry, cut. Now it's time for me to steal. Here's my plan. I'll, I'll have with this bag. Then I'll... Bread and run. Ha ha ha. Now everybody be quiet. <laughs> the fox sneaked into the house and crawled to the table. The chicks knew the moving sack was trouble. They ran to the sack and peck, peck, pecked it with their sharp little beaks. The fox jumped out of the sack, ran out the door, and ran home, crying all the way.
the steel-eyed fox never bothered the little red hen again and never even watched her from afar. The next day, the little red hen found some grains of corn. Who will help me plant the corn? The cows dropped the clover from their mouths. They shouted, I will. The cats rolled over on their tummy. They screamed. I will. A job like that, said the cat. A job like that. The pigs jumped out of the mud. They yelled, I will. Job not big, said Bob the pig, a job a pig can dig. They rushed to help her plant the corn. The little red hen held her head high and flapped her wings. She felt very happy. They rushed to help her plant the corn. The little red hen held her head high and flapped her wings. She felt very happy. <laughs>